Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your guy, J.D. Hope all is well. Love and light, guys. So tonight, guys, I have a special dish, another one of my uh, special uh, recipes, something I know you guys are going to enjoy. It's a vegan dish, no meat. Yes, vegan, meatless dish, guys. But trust me, when you try this dish, you're not even going to miss the meat, all right? That's how good it tastes. You can count on that, all right? So what we have on the menu is brown stew tofu. Yes, brown stew tofu. Um, I have my ingredients already here. I have the tofu. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, cut the tofu up in cubes. And I'm going to season the tofu with some uh, oregano, Dominican oregano. You guys know this is like a staple in my household, <laughs> for real. Um, some ground uh, ground garlic, granulated garlic, some uh, onion powder, some seasoning salt, and um, that's pretty much what I'm going to season it with. So you guys stay tuned. I'm going to cut the tofu up, season it, and I'll be right back, all right? So you guys stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm back. So now the tofu is nice and seasoned up. Let me show you guys. It's all seasoned up and ready to go. So now, guys, my next step is to uh, fry the tofu, and I'm going to fry it in some olive oil, just to pan fry until they're nice and done, all right? So y'all stay tuned for that, and I'll be back. Hey, guys, I'm back. I'm back. So uh, the tofu is nice and seasoned, and now I have it frying in my cast iron skillet here. So let me show you. It smells amazing, guys. So I'm gonna fry these uh, pieces of tofu until they're nice and golden brown, okay? Um, once they're golden brown, I'm gonna take them out and then I'll show you guys the, um, the rest of the step, all right? So you guys stay tuned and I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back, I'm back. So I wanna show y'all how the tofu is coming out. It smells amazing in here, guys. It smells amazing. So this is what the tofu is looking like. Um, I added some extra pieces in there. You ain't got to worry about that. It's not coarse contamination. It's tofu. But I'm going to let the rest of this tofu brown up. I have some right here. And uh, once the tofu is done, I'll go to the next step and I'll show you how the stewing process. So y'all stay tuned and I'll be right back, guys. Hey guys, so I'm going to show you um, the, the brown stew tofu. This is what it looks like. It's done. It's ready to go. So now, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop up my uh, scotch bonnet pepper and garlic in my pylon, and then I will show you guys the stewing process, so y'all stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so my garlic is now chopped up in my pylon. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to use the same oil, this oil here that I fried my tofu in. I'm going to add some oil in here. And I'm going to stir fry my vegetables in that same oil. Listen, when you're using the same oil, all that seasoning is in there. So you don't want to uh, lose any of the flavor. You want all the flavor to be in there. So I'm going to, um, as I said, add some of this oil. Some of this oil right here. Right into this pot here. Just enough. That should be enough right there to get the vegetables going. And guys, I'll be right back. Y'all stay tuned for more, okay? Okay, guys, I'm back, I'm back. So now the oil is hot. I'm going to add my, um, my, uh, some of this uh, garlic and scotch bonnet pepper in there. Add that in there like that. I'll show you guys what I'm doing here. I'm gonna let that stir fry a little bit and I'm gonna also add some thyme in here, guys. So y'all stay tuned, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I have the uh, scotch bonnet pepper, the thyme, and the garlic in here. So now what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to add these beautiful vegetables. So what I have is some uh, baby carrots, some uh, red pepper, green pepper, green uh, uh, red onion, one, one uh, medium uh, uh, red pepper, one medium green pepper, and one medium uh, green, I mean red onion. I'm sorry, guys. So I'm going to add that in there. And let that stir fry, guys, and I'll be right back. Y'all stay tuned for more. Okay, guys, so let me show you. This is smelling amazing, guys. I'm going to add two of these Maggie cubes in here to give it some flavor. And um, I'll be back. Y'all stay tuned for the next step, guys. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I'm back. Um, the vegetables are pretty much stir fried here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some of this water, enough 
water to cover the vegetables. Not a whole lot, but enough to just cover the vegetables like that. And that should be uh, that should be a good enough amount of uh, water. Like I said, you just want to cover the, veg the vegetables. Okay, you just want to cover it like that. And maybe we can add a little bit more water. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this, okay? Add a little bit more, doesn't hurt. That should be good enough. Right there is good enough. And we're gonna let this cook a little bit more until the, um, the vegetables are pretty much um, uh, done. Um, they're pretty much done. I'm just waiting for the carrots to cook a little bit more. And uh, once that's once the carrots cook a little bit more, I'm going to add some ketchup to this. Yes, I'm going to add some ketchup. And then um, just to thicken up the sauce a little bit, all right? So you guys stay tuned for that, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm back. So now let me show you the vegetables. They're pretty much done. So now I'm going to add uh, a couple of squeezes of this. A ketchup in here just enough ketchup to uh, thicken up the sauce okay and then we're gonna mix this all in like that mix it in just like that guys it's gonna give the uh, the sauce a little thickness okay right thicken that up a little bit there so we're gonna add some more you want you want the sauce to be thick, okay? So you want to you know put enough in there, not a whole lot, but just enough to kind of thicken it up a little bit, all right? And once you once you thicken it up like that, because it's thick, you're going to uh, add maybe about uh, one tablespoon of some vinegar, white vinegar preferably. Okay, so I'm gonna add about, maybe about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of this white vinegar, if I can get the bottle open. <laughs> and I'm gonna eyeball it for you guys, just eyeball it. So I'm gonna add, yeah, about two tablespoons. That's good, that's about two tablespoons there. I'm gonna mix all of that in, right, like that. Oh, it smells amazing, guys. It smells amazing. And then at that point, you want to taste the sauce. You want to taste the sauce to make sure that it's good, okay? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's well flavored. <clears throat> so now, once you taste the sauce, you're going to add maybe about one tablespoon of sugar one tablespoon of sugar to this i'm gonna show you one about one tablespoon of this white sugar to it like that okay and you're going to mix that all in right you'll mix it all in like that the sugar just brings all the flavors together okay you're going to do that like that and then once you add the sugar you want to taste uh the water again okay you want to taste the water again. Your sauce, I should say. Oh, man. That's perfect. So now, once you do that, you see this tofu? You're going to jump it right on in there like that. Dump it right on in like that. And just let everything come together. And let that tofu cook in there for about, I'd say about uh, about maybe you know 15, 20 minutes. 15 minutes should be should be sufficient. And you're gonna let that stew down, okay, like that. And then I'll be back to show you the end result, okay. And I have another uh, another uh, thing I'm gonna show you guys, um, if I can find it. Okay, here it goes. So guys, I'm gonna add some of this to this tofu. Some of this liquid smoke, just a few drops, just a few drops, all right? So y'all stay tuned for the end result, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, I'm back. So I wanna show y'all what the brown stew uh, tofu is looking like. It looks amazing, the sauce is nice and thick. I'm gonna turn that over for you guys there so y'all can see what it do, what it do. Yeah, as you can see, guys, the sauce is nice and thick looks amazing doesn't it 
And I have my uh, my brown rice is ready to go. So y'all stay tuned for the taste test, the moment of truth, all right? I'll be back, guys. Be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe, guys. So the plating is done. So now we are going to do our taste test. It's the moment of truth, guys. Look at this bad boy here. Tell me that don't look good. Brown stew tofu, baby, made by yours truly. All right. So now, I'm gonna sit down here, taste this masterpiece, baby. Oh yeah. Y'all ready? Cause I know I'm ready, <laughs> for real. Oh. See if you guys can catch a glimpse of that. There we go. There we go, baby. All right, so we're gonna start off with some of this, these onions and peppers, this rice here. This is brown rice. As I said, trying to keep it healthy, guys. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh man, y'all. This is just like a burst of fl <clears throat> flavor. You can taste the spice. And I like spicy food. For those of y'all don't know, I love me some spicy food. Mmm, mmm. The tofu is well seasoned. Mmm. You can taste the, the scotch bonnet pepper, the garlic, the thyme. Mmm, 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 mmm. And God, this is guilt free. Guilt free. Meatless, um, plant based. This is so good, man. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, man. When I tell y'all this tofu, it tastes so good. You ain't got, you're not missing me. I promise you guys. <laughs> you're not missing the meat with this, man. Oh, man. Absolutely amazing. Mm, 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 mm. For those of you guys who like tofu, you're going to love this dish. I promise you. It's a guaranteed, guaranteed. Mm. Oh, yeah, baby. But, guys. I mean, like I said, the prep time, it doesn't take long to, uh, to cook this dish. It's easy, simple. You just follow the steps like I, like I showed you, and you won't have a problem making this, man. Ah. Sauce tastes amazing, man. Mm, 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 mm. Well, with that being said, guys, I was always ready not to talk with food in your mouth, but I can't help it. With that being said, guys, if you enjoy this recipe, be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the love and support. Thanks again, guys, for everything. Until next time, I'll be talking to y'all soon. Y'all take care.